The trial of Minuteman co-founder Chris Simcox will likely begin as soon as this Friday. He is accused of sexually abusing two young girls. CBS 5's Laura Malpert explains why child advocates are furious about what he will be allowed to do in court. Victims rights groups are enraged about this case, likely the first of its kind in Arizona. It forces young alleged victims to go face to face against the man accused of molesting them. Daphne Young is with Child Help, a nonprofit group that advocates for abused and neglected children. She can't speak specifically about the upcoming trial of Chris Simcox, but she gives her perspective. There's a great risk for intimidation, manipulation, and Revictimizing that young victim. Simcox, the co founder of the Minuteman Militia Group, is accused of sexually molesting two young girls back in 2013. In February, a judge agreed to let Simcox represent himself in his trial. Last week, the same judge gave Simcox the okay to personally cross examine the girls, now ages seven and eight. At the heart of the issue is the rights of the accused versus the rights of the alleged victims. So far, Maricopa County prosecutors have lost their battle to stop the cross-examination. But County Attorney Bill Montgomery says he's seeking higher review. The request here is not unusual and I think that uh, the courts are more than capable of trying to manage this particular situation, which doesn't occur often. Laura Malpert, CBS 5 News.